We all want the best medical care possible, and if we have insurance, we expect it to cover the cost. But many Texans are getting surprise emergency bills when they thought insurance covered everything. KXAN's Phil Prazen has more about what lawmakers are doing about it. For Michael Fryer, it's all in the paperwork. You see here. At an ER visit for appendicitis, doctors put him under, fixed him up, and sent him home. A month later, it came in the mail. $947 for scan consultations he didn't know he was responsible for. Insurance didn't cover it. Michael had three months to pay. You know, that's, that's more than a car payment. If you're not planning on it because it was an emergency, what do you do? A question he asks lawmakers. And you have no option. Right now, if your bill is more than $1,000, by law, the insurance company and health care provider solve their differences through mediation. Less than a grand, it's a different story. Imagine your local hospital as a shopping center, and your health insurance is your credit card. But sometimes certain stores don't accept your credit card. In America, it's hardly ever the patient-doctor relationship figuring out the problem. You have to factor in the insurance company and the hospital. And when these guys can't figure it out, who do you think gets the bill? If that's not what health insurance is for, then what is it for? Michael supports a Senate bill that would require all medical bills, including under $1,000, to go to mediation. He says the health care industry isn't like a normal business. Who goes and debates pricing in the emergency room? He wants his insurance and the hospital to figure out all the bills so he doesn't have to pick up what's left. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The Texas Medical Association testified today, worried it would create more red tape. The Texas Association of Health Plans supports this bill, saying the mediation process works. And this isn't something that just happens to an unlucky few. We found out many people are affected. According to the Texas Medical Association, nearly 1,500 complaints were filed over medical bills in the first nine months of 2014. The Texas Department of Insurance reports 885 requests for mediations were made. All of those cases involved bills of more than $1,000. Most cases were settled, but 110 of those complaints were sent to the State Office of Administrative Hearings for further review. And a battle is brewing over a bill that would clearly separate urgent care clinics and freestanding emergency rooms throughout Texas. State Senator Charles Schwartner wants to pass Senate Bill 425. He says it would make clear to patients that freestanding emergency rooms are different than urgent care clinics, which often cost a lot less money. The Texas Association of Freestanding Emergency Centers agrees, a brother disagrees, saying it would require unfair regulations and competition. Senator Schwartner says it's all about transparency. They walk in there thinking that they're doing the right thing by not going to the ER that is attached to the hospital, but they wind up on the back end getting charged essentially the same yeah. type of fees. And right now there are 140 freestanding emergency centers in Texas.